Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about solving quadratic inequalities. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now let us solve the first example in our topic, solving quadratic inequalities. Example number one, x squared plus 7x plus 10 is less than or equal to zero. This one is already in standard form. So the first thing we need to do is to convert this inequality into a quadratic equation. And it goes like this x squared plus 7x plus 10, replace this by an equal sign, then equal to 0. Then solve for the values of x of this quadratic equation because it will serve as the critical points or the critical value for this inequality. Now, the factor is out. The factors are x plus 5 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. Equate each factor by 0. x plus 5 is equal to 0. Next, we have x plus 2 is equal to 0. To solve for the value of x, transpose 5 to the other side of the equation, and it will become x is equal to negative 5. Here, transpose positive 2, it will become x is equal to negative 5. 2. Now guys, this negative 5 and negative 2 are not the answers or the solution for this quadratic inequality. These are just the critical points of the quadratic inequality for us to graph it in a number line. So normally, what we're doing when we are graphing quadratic inequality, we're putting 0 here, 1, 2, 3, and positive numbers and negative numbers. But here, guys, what we need to do here is to just put the critical values and 0. So I will put 0 here, guys, at the middle. This is 0. And then the first critical value is negative 5, tapos negative 2. For the placement of negative 2, it is near to 0. And for negative 5, we can put it here, negative 5. Now, by the way, guys, <clears throat> for our graph, since this one, ito, ah, some of the people are confused whether the critical values are included. All you need to do is to check, again, to check the symbol. Since this one is less than or equal, or in other words, meron siyang bar, automatic, these critical points are included in our solution. So, we need to use... A solid circle here okay for the critical values and by by the way as a review if the symbols are greater than or less than we will be using open circle if the symbols are greater than or equal or Less than or equal, we will use a solid circle. Now, guys, and as you can see, this number line is divided into three regions. Again, here's the first region. Okay. And here's the second region. Okay. This is the first region, the part of the number line on the left side of negative 5. The second region is the part of the number line between negative 5 and negative 2. The third region is on the left on the right side of negative 2. Now we will check which region is part of the solutions or solution of this quadratic inequality. So the question here, how are we going to check if this region, this and this are included with the solutions? Because in quadratic inequality, guys there are infinitely many possible solutions that will satisfy this equation or values of x. So what we need to do is to get a representative for each region. Here, for this part, let me suggest that we will use negative 6. We will use negative 6 to represent this region. Now, for this region, I would suggest that we will use negative 4. And here on the right side, 
since we have here zero, this is the fastest or the easiest representative to represent this region. Now, how are we going to know if this is part of it? We will check each representative. We will use this original equation or inequality, but the factored form. We will use this x plus 5 times x plus 2, this one less than or equal to 0. First, this one, let's check. We will replace x by negative 6 here to become negative 6 plus 5 times negative 6 plus 2 less than or equal to 0. Now, this is negative 1 times negative 4 less than or equal to 0. Multiply these numbers. This is positive 4 less than or equal to 0. Now, we need to check whether this statement is true or a false statement. Is 4 less than or equal to 0? Okay, very good. Definitely, this is a false statement, meaning that this region represented by negative 6 is not part of our solution. Okay? Next, let's go with the second representative. We will use negative 4 to replace x. So, same inequality. We have x plus 5 times x plus 2 less than or equal to 0. Replace x by negative 4. That is negative 4 plus 5 times negative 4 plus 2 less than or equal to 0. This is 1. And this is negative 2 less than or equal to 0. Multiply these numbers. This is negative 2 less than or equal to 0. Now let's check. Is this statement true or false? Very good. This one is a true statement because negative 2 is less than 0. Now let's go with the last representative. Okay? This one, we will use 0. So that would be, replace it by 0. That would be 0 plus 5 times 0 plus 2 is less than or equal to 0. Now, this is 5 times 2. Then simplify, this is 10 less than or equal to 0. Now let's check. Is this statement true or false? Okay, very good. This one is a false statement because 10 is greater than 0. Now, how are we going to graph it? Since this part is false by using negative 6, we will not put the line here. Since this part is also false by 0, and the only part which is true is this one, the middle region. So our solution is like this. Our solution is simply this one. Now, what does it mean? Well, let's interpret this graph. Since negative 5 and negative 2 are included and the numbers between them are all possible values of x are the solutions of this inequality, meaning all the numbers greater than negative 5 but less than negative 2 are the solutions of it. So let's put that into interval notation. In interval notation, guys, we will write our solution as this one negative 5 comma negative 2. I use this one, this symbol because the critical values are included. Okay? But if the solution or if the critical values are not included, we will use just the parentheses. So this is the answer for item number 1. So, medyo natagalan tayo because I tried to, to explain it further para mas maintindihan niya. Now, let's move on with item number 2. In item number 2, we have x squared plus 3x minus 10 is less than 0. So, since this is the symbol, automatic critical values are not included with our solutions. Let's solve this first. 
we have here x squared plus 3x minus 10. Change this into equal sign, then 0. Factor x plus 5. Then this one is x minus 2 is equal to 0. The values of x definitely are x is equal to negative 5. Then x is equal to positive 2. These are the critical values of our solution, guys. Now, let's put it here in our graph. This one. So, we might put 0 at the middle. And here, negative 5. We will put it here on the left side of 0. And positive 2 on the, left, on the right side of 0. Now, since the symbol is less than, automatically, we will use an open circle. It indicates that the critical values are not included. Okay, next, we will choose representatives for each region. The first region is here. Okay. Second region is, the first region is here. The second is the part between negative 5 and 2. And this one here. So I will choose what number here on this region? I will choose negative 6 again. Here I will choose 0. And here I will choose 3. Now let's check if they're part of the solution. Let us use this. We have x plus 5 times x minus 2. Then less than 0. Let's have negative 6. This is negative 6 plus 5 times negative 6 minus 2, less than 0. This is negative 1. This is negative 8, less than 0. This is positive 8. So let's see if this is true or false. Okay, very good. Definitely this one is false, right? Now here, we will use this representative that is 0 plus 5 times 0 minus 2. I'm replacing x by 0 less than 0. This is 5 times negative 2. This is negative 10 less than 0. Is this a false or true statement? Okay, very good. This one is a true statement. Next, here. By the way, uh, for us to not uh, consume more time, let me give you a shortcut. Listen, we have three regions. We have this region going here, this region, and this region. The shortcut is just find the region where zero is located. And here definitely, here's the region for zero. And then check whether 0 is included in the solution. Now, if the region where 0 is located is a true, will give you a true statement like this, meaning the middle region is the only solution. Okay? But if the solution, or if, this, if 0 is here on the right side of the critical value and it give you a true statement, automatic, this one or this part of the inequality is the solution and the other part is also a solution. And here we have a clue. Since the left side or the left region is not a solution, automatically this one is not a solution. Okay, let's graph this first. Then let me prove it to you that this is not part of the solution. Our solution lies in the middle region. Now let's go with the proof that this one is not a solution. Let us use 3 to replace x. It goes like this. We have 3 plus 5 times 3 minus 2 less than 0. 3 plus 5 is 8 times 3 minus 2 is 
1, and 8 times 1 is 8. So look, is this a true or false statement? Definitely, that is a false statement. And as you can see, this part or this region of the, of the graph or the number line is not included with our solution. The only solution are the numbers between negative 5 and 2. And again, let me repeat it, that negative 5 or positive 2 or the critical values are not included with the solutions. Now, how are we going to represent that in two interval notation? Since these are not included, we will use the parenthesis, the negative 5, comma, 2, and also a parenthesis here. This is the interval notation for the solutions of x squared plus 3x minus 10 is less than 0. So I hope, guys, you learned something from this video on how to solve quadratic inequalities. If you're new to my channel, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!